session 2024-25. I am sure we all will have a great year ahead and with this new session we will be also having some newly added teachers who are experienced with us who will be handling the subjects in a more effective manner. As far as the school is concerned we have a management with a greater vision a sincere team of teachers, very cooperative parents and highly disciplined students and this whole team is sure to make greater output and I am confident with our team of teachers and expertise the children will learn the life skills and all the other required skills for their living. I am confident as the principal that the students with the skinned knees and bruised egos are good things. Children learn resilience and self-confidence by overcoming adversities and navigating rough patches. My role isn't it to protect your child from every obstacle but to help them build confidence by facing challenges. Your child is extraordinary. Every child is exceptional, just as they are. Encourage growth and improvement, but also celebrate their unique qualities. Let them be their ordinary, extraordinary selves. Encourage edge work. Real learning happens when the children step into the unknown. The edge of their capabilities, knowledge and confidence is where the growth occurs. 
it's both simple and challenging. Hard work matters. Success often involves hard work behind the scenes. Children need to understand that putting effort into their studies and other pursuits is essential for achieving their goals. Dear parents, we also are planning to introduce additional activities this year. Grade 1, 2, and 3 will have the instrumental keyboard. Grade 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 children can choose between tabla or I mean, keyboard. And grade 1 to 4 children will have clay modeling and pottery as a compulsory activity. Whereas grade 5, 6, 7, and 8 will have the drama from the Helena Grady International, who was an expert in training children in building their acting skills and all that, and the theater skills. And also about our, uh, I mean, uh, the board examination results of both 10th and 12th are excellent. Students have performed so well, the 8th batch of IGCSE has passed out with the good uh, I mean, uh, academic records. I mean, the students with the uh, biology subject have scored seven A stars, chemistry with five A stars and four A's, and um, English as a second language, one A star and one A, and Hindi, out of five students, one got A star and one got a A. Information and communication technology, four students managed the A, and mathematics, Three students scored an A star and three students with an A. And physics, six students got an A star and two students got an A. Even our 12th science and the commerce results are good. Students cleared all their examination with A star, A or maximum B as a grade that they have scored in all their subjects. I wish all these students for a bright future. And I'm sure, student parents, with the lot of effort that our teachers put in, our team puts in, students will perform well. Dear parents, we, we ask for your trust in our school and our dedicated, devoted teachers. Rest assured, we will cherish and educate your children with the same love and dedication as we do our own, fostering their development and care with commitment. Remember, as a principal, my commitment is to create a supportive and nurturing environment for your child's growth and development. Happy year ahead. Thank you once again. See you all. Good morning, dear parents. Welcome to the new academic year 2024-25 at Seven Isles International School. I am Ms. Mansi Adyan as the Admission and Public Relations Coordinator. I am glad to address you. I am associated with Seven Isles for 13 years. I have a teaching experience of more than 23 years. I am also a certified brain mapping and a career counsellor. I have received the Dronachari Award for Excellence in Teaching and many other awards. I have been invited by many schools and institutes as a judge and a chief guest. Today we have gathered to embark on a journey of learning, growth and discovery. As we begin this new chapter, it is essential to understand certain guidelines that will help us create a respectful, safe and productive environment for everyone. Let's get together and make this academic year a memorable and successful one. The school timings and reporting time. The school timings for pre-primary are 1.10 to 4.10 p.m. and the reporting time for them is 1 p.m. The reporting time for grade 1 to 12 is 8.20 a.m. School timings for grade 1, 2 and 3 is 8.30 to 12.45 p.m. And for grade 4 to 12, it is 8.30 to 3.20 p.m. Regular latecomers won't be allowed to enter the school. Make sure that your child is regular in attendance. Those who maintain 100% attendance throughout the month will be given 100% attendance badge. At the end of the year, there is a special recognition for students securing 100% attendance throughout the year. So you should plan your vacations in the holidays given by the school. The procedure for leave application. In case of a planned leave, prior permission has to be obtained. You should send an email to the principal and the HR teacher and obtain the permission. In case of an unplanned leave, kindly mention the leave note in the space provided in the school diary. If the student is absent for more than two days, a medical certificate has to be submitted. Uniform. Students should report to school in neat and complete uniform, which includes ID cards, nails, shoes, hat, and 
I mean the footwear the footwear expected from them is black leather shoes and navy blue socks for any season you can wear black floaters about the hairstyle girls with long hair should tie their hair with ponytail or place with white ribbons and with short hair should also put a white hair band or white clips only boys should also cut their hair and trim it properly the nail should be cut and uh, the homework and class test as per homework and class test will be given as per a schedule that will be shared with you please note that no retest will be taken for any absentees for ia or for any exams about the food habits only healthy homemade vegetarian food is allowed in tiffin junk food is not allowed and non veg food including egg is also not allowed tiffin should be sent with them in the morning only you know once the school commences you are not supposed to send the tiffin please note that only steel tiffin and steel bottles are allowed plastic tiffin and plastic bottles are not allowed coming to birthday celebrations students can distribute only fresh fruits or a small packet of few dry fruits dry fruits should not be in the form of chicky or sweets so distribution of chocolates or cake or gifts is not allowed the mode of communication will be through email only parents are not allowed to call or message the teachers on their personal mobile numbers whenever you send an email to the teacher there should be a cc to the principal the principal's email id is principal.sicis@gmail.com or principal@7ails.in if you have any urgent communication you can call the school landline or the school mobile number the tentative plan of every month will be sent to you in advance whereby you get an idea about what is going to be covered in that particular month The school diary is a very important document kindly read all the pages of the school diary as i is social media we have a website facebook youtube channel and instagram kindly go through it and follow it no parking facility is available inside the school premises for parents vehicles so make sure that you park your vehicles outside gagangiri towers only during the pti attendance of parent is compulsory report card won't be shown after the pti there will be a pti after every exam and the dates of pti is already mentioned in the school diary so you can plan your office hours accordingly parents should also maintain a decent dress code while visiting the school during the pti or for any other official communication also and parents are also expected to maintain a decorum while addressing the school staff no gifts can be given to teachers or accepted from any teacher we try to resolve the issues before they become a complaint so your first point of contact is your homeroom teacher if there is anything kindly bring it to the notice of your homeroom teacher immediately whereby we can solve it then and there if you feel that the issue is not yet solved by your homeroom teacher then you should approach the year group leader that is the senior most teachers of the school for boys it is mr vishwas rao you have to approach mr vishwas rao shinde and for girls you have to approach ms jacqueline mary even after approaching them you feel that your issue is not solved then you can approach the principal and after approaching the principal also if you are still not satisfied you can go to the management and contact them we have a play area for young children the play area can be used under parental supervision the timings for play area are as follows pre primary kids can use the play area after disposal that is from 4:10 to 5 grade 1 2 and 3 can use the play area from 12:45 to 1:10 Grades four and five can use the play area from three twenty to four, and during the Saturdays when school is not working, all the young kids can come and play from nine to twelve with the parents. I hope this is all clear. And if you have any doubts, you can contact me. My email ID is mansi dot s i c i s at the rate gmail dot com and mansi at the rate seven isles dot in. Wishing you a successful year ahead. Thank you. Dear parents, it gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to the new academic session. 2024-25 I am Ms Jacinta De Costa and I look after the admin section of Seven Isles International School I've been associated with the school for the past 9 years You can always approach us at the school office we are open from Monday to Saturday between 9 a.m to 5 p.m You can reach us on the school office number that is 25633693 and the school office number That is seven two zero eight one seven eight seven six one. Me and my colleague Mr. Ajay Mohite will be there to assist you. Hoping to have a wonderful association throughout the year. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I am delighted to welcome you all to the start of a new academic year. My name is Ms. Ruti Devia, and I have the pleasure of being your English teacher this year. I hold a master's degree in English literature, and I have a year of experience in teaching IGCSE curriculum. 
English plays a crucial role in our globalized world, serving as a bridge across cultures. Mastering English not only unlocks doors to higher educational and career opportunities, but also grants access to a wealth of knowledge from around the world. In our class, we will focus on developing strong reading comprehension skills, enhancing vocabulary and language usage, improving writing skills and fostering effective communication. To make English learning an exciting and engaging experience, we will incorporate various interactive activities throughout the year. We will also introduce a novel to promote class discussions, storytelling and an interest in literature while fostering independent thinking and reading. Grade 5 will be reading 5 Children and It by Edith Nesbitt. This classic novel follows the adventures of 5 siblings who discover a magical creature that grants them one wish per day. Each wish leads to an unexpected and often hilarious consequence, teaching the children valuable lessons about the importance of being careful what they wish for. The purpose of this novel is to stimulate imagination, encourage critical thinking and promote discussions about choices and consequences in class. The English assessment consists of two terms and two unit tests. Each unit test is worth 25 marks and each term exam is of 100 marks. And for the term examination, each written paper will be out of 70 marks. However, in the case of English, it will have two papers carrying 35 marks and 30 marks of internal assessment, which will be divided into class tests worth of 15 marks and five marks each for reading, speaking and listening. As a teacher, my role extends beyond just teaching English, however, I am here to nurture my students' intellectual curiosity and foster an environment of support, growth and inspiration. I am committed to creating a safe and respectful environment for everyone. Thank you and if you have any questions related to your board or the subject, you can email me at druti at the rate 7 isin or drutideria.sis at the rate gmail.com. Have a wonderful day. Isham na vidyana tapo na danam, nanam na shilam na gano na dharma, te marthya loke bhuri bhar bhuta, manusha rupe na mruga charanti. Namaste. Me Suraj Maruti Dhangrutu Varsh 2024-25 ke abhivinyas karikram me, aap sabi abhivhav ko pa swagat karta. Ek shikshak ke rupe me snata kone ki baat, me pichle satra varsho se adhyan aur adhyapan ke kshetra me karir. मैंने सेवन आइल्स इंटरनेशनल स्कूल में दो शैक्षणिक वर्ष पूरे किए हैं और यह मेरा तीसरा वर्ष है शैक्षणिक वर्ष 2024-25 में मैं कक्षा तीन और कीट के वर्ग शिक्षक अर्थात होमरूम टीचर के रूप में कार्यरत रहूंगा तथा कक्षा तीन और चार की ऑर्किड तथा ट्यूलिप इन दोनों कक्षाओं में और कक्षा पाँच के आर्किड की कक्षा में हिंदी भाषा विषय पढ़ाऊँगा मैं छात्रों के दैनंदिन अनुभव के माध्यम से हिंदी भाषा का ज्ञान विकसित करने का प्रयास करना जारी रखूँगा जिसमें मुख्य रूप से छात्रों की उम्र समझ अवलोकन क्षमता लेखन क्षमता वृद्धि और विकास को ध्यान में रखा जाएगा प्रारंभिक हिंदी रीडर और व्यवहारिक व्याकरण तथा रचना इन पाठ्य पुस्तकों के आधार पर छात्रों की अंतर्निहित अध्ययन क्षमता का विकास करते हुए भाषा के सुनने बोलने पढ़ने और लिखने के कौशल का विकास किया जाएगा इस शैक्षणिक वर्ष में कक्षा तीन से पाँच का मूल्यांकन इस प्रकार होगा आंतरिक परीक्षा में सुनने बोलने और पढ़ने के लिए प्रत्येक पाँच अंक ऐसे पंद्रह अंक होंगे तथा कक्षा परीक्षा के अंतर्निहित परीक्षा के लिए कुल तीस में से पंद्रह अंक होंगे जिस कक्षा परीक्षा में छात्र उपस्थित होगा उसमें से जो अंक अधिक होंगे वही मूल्यांकन के लिए ग्राह्य लिए जाएंगे प्रथम और द्वितीय घटक परीक्षा के लिए पच्चीस अंकों का पेपर होगा जिसके लिए आवंटित समय पचास मिनट और सत्र परीक्षा पहली और दूसरी की जो पहले और दूसरे सत्र परीक्षा के सत्तर अंकों का पेपर होगा जिससे आवंटित समय नंबर नब्बे मिनट का प्रथम और द्वितीय सेमेस्टर परीक्षा के आंतरिक अंकों पर विचार किया जाएगा इस शैक्षणिक वर्ष के अंत तक छात्र सरल हिंदी में संवाद करने व्यावहारिक शब्दों की पहचान करने विशेषण सर्वनाम लिंग वचन काल क्रिया इन व्याकरणिक संकल्पनाओं को समझकर उनका व्यवहार में उपयोग करने संवाद लिखने कहानी सुनने कहानी लिखने पत्र लिखने में सक्षम बनेंगे मेरा ई है सूरज आपके पास अगर कोई प्रश्न है तो आप इस पर संपर्क कर सकते हैं धन्यवाद सुप्रभात 
मी सौ अनघा कपिल शर्मा अपना सर्व पालक वर्ष दोन हजार चौवीस पंचवीस अभिवक्ता कार्यक्रम सहर्ष स्वागत करते बी ए बी एड मराठीत पदवी प्राप्त के चौदह वर्षे मी अध्ययन और अध्यापन क्षेत्र कार्यरत है जयनाथ इंटरनेशनल स्कूल मधे मजे तीसरे वर्ष है वर्ष दोन हजार चौवीस पंचवीस शैक्षणिक वर्षा इयत्ता तीसरी ट्यूलिप से मी वर्ग शिक्षिका है या शैक्षणिक वर्षात इयत्ता दुसरी ट्युलिप ते पाचवीच्या दोन्ही वर्गांमध्ये मी मराठी भाषा विषय शिकवणार आहे परदेशात वाचती मराठीचे चौघडे मराठीचे विश्वसे जगती चहूकडे मराठीचा बोलबाला आसमंतात दुमदुमू द्या माय बोली मराठी मना मनात रमू द्या विद्यार्थी त्यांचे वय आकलन क्षमता निरीक्षण क्षमता लेखन क्षमता वाढ विकास यांचा प्रामुख्याने विचार करून मराठी भाषा आत्मसात करणार आहेत विद्यार्थ्यांची अंगीभूत अध्ययन क्षमता विकसित करताना भाषेची श्रवण भाषण वाचन आणि लेखन ही सर्व कौशल्य विद्यार्थ्यांमध्ये रुजवण्यासाठी विद्यार्थ्यांना कृतीतून शिकवण्याचा माझा प्रयत्न राहील या वर्षी इयत्ता दुसरी मराठी भाषेचे मूल्यांकन पुढीलप्रमाणे असेल श्रवण भाषण वाचन या क्षमतांचे अंतर्गत मूल्यमापन पंधरा गुणांचे असतील वर्ग परीक्षा पंधरा गुणाची अंतर्गत परीके परीक्षेचे एकूण तीस गुण असतील विद्यार्थी ज्या परीक्षेत उपस्थित असेल त्यातील अधिक गुण मूल्यांकनासाठी ग्राह्य धरले जातील प्रथम आणि द्वितीय घटक चाचणी वीस गुणांची त्यासाठी पन्नास मिनिटे वेळ देण्यात येईल यामध्ये अंतर्गत गुण ग्राह्य नसतील प्रथम आणि द्वितीय सत्र परीक्षा चाळीस गुणांची यासाठी नव्वद मिनिटे वेळ देण्यात येईल यामध्ये अंतर्गत गुण ग्राह्य असतील या वर्षापासून इयत्ता तिसरी ते पाचवी मराठी भाषा विषयाचे मूल्यांकन पुढीलप्रमाणे असेल श्रवण भाषण वाचन या क्षमतांचे अंतर्गत मूल्यमापन पंधरा गुण वर्ग परीक्षा पंधरा गुण अंतर्गत परीक्षेचे एकूण गुण तीस असतील आणि विद्यार्थी ज्या परीक्षेचे उपस्थित असतील त्यातील अधिक गुण मूल्यांकनासाठी ग्राह्य धरले जातील अंतर्गत परीक्षेत श्रवण भाषण वाचन प्रत्येकी पाच गुण वर्ग परीक्षा प्रत्येकी पाच गुण असे एकूण पंधरा गुण असे एकूण तीस गुण देण्यात येतील प्रथम द्वितीय घटक चाचणी पंचवीस गुणांची वेळ पन्नास मिनिटे देण्यात येईल यात अंतर्गत गुण ग्राह्य नसतील प्रथम आणि द्वितीय सत्र परीक्षा लेखी सत्तर गुणांची असेल नव्वद मिनिटे वेळ देण्यात येईल आणि यात अंतर्गत गुण ग्राह्य असतील या शैक्षणिक वर्षाअखेर मराठी भाषेमध्ये दैनंदिन जीवनात मराठीतून संवाद साधता येणे अभिनयाद्वारे विद्यार्थ्यांना कविता गाता येणे गोष्टी सांगता येणे निबंध लेखन पत्रलेखन लिहिता येणे या क्षमता विद्यार्थी प्राप्त करतील माझा ईमेल आय डी ए एन ए जी एच ए सी डॉट एस आय आय एस ॲट द रेट जी मेल डॉट कॉम आहे आपल्यास काही प्रश्न असतील तर या ईमेलवर संपर्क करू शकता धन्यवाद Good morning dear parents and students I welcome you all to the orientation program of the new academic year 2024-25 I'm Jenny Mehta teacher of grade 3 orchids and grade 5 french I've completed my B1 del from Alliance Française de Bombay and pursuing my B2 I've also completed my master's degree in philosophy and I'm in do teaching since the past 7 years where in I've taught primary and secondary sections across various boards I'm deeply enthusiastic about my work and I strongly believe that children learn best in the classroom through real life examples rather than just memorizing things without understanding them My teaching strategy focuses on engaging students actively and fostering an attitude of inquiry We begin the French learning journey this year and the language not only broadens our horizons but also presents great career opportunities. The resource we use is a textbook and a workbook called Apprenant le Français 1. Along with it, we will also use various audio resources to familiarize the students with the various accents and the sounds of the language. Interactive games and activities in the classroom will ensure that the child remains engaged and focused. The areas covered in this academic year are basic information about France, alphabets, numbers, days, months, fruits, vegetables, colors, family members and culture. The objective is to build a vocabulary with everyday phrases and explain basic grammar so that the child may begin to read write communicate and understand in the french language by the end of the year the most important thing is to not be afraid of making mistakes and have fun by learning 
We keep on taking random checks about the students' spoken French. It fosters growth of communication skills and independence in students. The internal assessment of the subject will be for 30 marks in each term, wherein 15 marks will be for class test, 3 tests, 3 class tests of 5 marks each. The remaining 15 marks are divided into reading, listening and speaking for 5 marks each. These three sections of reading, listening and speaking will be reviewed twice per term and the best out of the two shall be taken into account. Apart from internal assessment, there will be two term exams for 70 marks each and two unit tests for 25 marks each. My email address is jennymehta.siis at gmail.com. Please don't hesitate to reach out to me regarding concerns or queries pertaining to your child or the subject matter. And thank you for being active participants in your child's learning as it makes a significant difference in the classroom. Wish you all a great academic year ahead and thank you. Good morning everyone. I'm delighted to welcome you all for the new academic year. My name is Swadini Sahu and I have the pleasure of being maths teacher of this academic year. I'm a postgraduate in physics and I've done my BA with maths and science as my subject. I have total experience of 10 years teaching IGCSC curriculum. Maths is often seen as a challenging subject but I feel with the right approach, it can be a source of fascination for all of us. This year, we are going to cover topics from numbers to statistical data, probability, geometry and many more. In our class, we will be focusing on critical thinking, collaborative learning and application. So, maths is not about just numbers. It's about solving problems and thinking critically. So I encourage you all to approach a maths problem with curiosity and an open mind. We will be often, you know, working together in group, helping each other because maths is a subject where collaborative learning can help in greater understanding and discovery. Then we'll try to understand the application of maths in our day-to-day -day life situation. Right from, you know, grocery shopping to building construction or using percentage while shopping and or data analysis during data handling and many more. And once you understand the relevance of the maths concept that you're learning applied in a day-to-day -day life, you'll enjoy the subject. Now let's talk about the maths assessment. So we'll be having two unit tests and two terms. The unit test consists of 25 marks and term exam is for 100 marks. So in term exam, we'll have theory for 70 marks and 30 marks is going to be the internal assessment. Where we have class test for 15 marks, mental maths for 5 marks, classwork, homework, assignments and practical for 5 marks each. As a class teacher, my role extends beyond just teaching mathematics. I'll be supporting for your, for your overall growth and well-being. Together, let's have a classroom environment that is respectful, inclusive and conducive to learning. Thank you. If you have any query related to your word or subject, you can mail me at swadini.s dot s i i s at the rate gmail dot com or swadini at the rate seven aisles dot in. Good morning dear parents and students. I Ms. Aditi Shivangikar welcome you all for the orientation of the new academic year 2024-25. This year I will be the homeroom teacher for grade 6 tulip. I will be teaching science to both the divisions of grade 5 and biology to grade 6 to 10. I have done my MSc in Biotechnology and then I have done B.Ed. With the experience of 19 years in teaching, this is my 10th year at Seven Isles International School. Talking about science, the study of science is very essential to deal many day-to-day -day, day -day life situations. It also develops scientific aptitude and critical thinking and makes a student curious and innovative. 
द करिकुलम डिज़ाइन इंक्लूड्स मैनी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स लाइक लाइफ साइकिल ऑफ फ्लावरिंग प्लांट्स इन्वेस्टिगेटिंग ग्रोथ ऑफ प्लांट्स स्टेट्स ऑफ मैटर अर्थ एंड बियॉन्ड एक्सेट्रा द स्टूडेंट्स विल बी रेफरिंग साइंस प्राइमरी लर्नर्स बुक एंड वर्क बुक दे नीड टू मेक टू नोट बुक्स फॉर टर्म वन एंड टर्म टू ईच देर विल बी टू यूनिट टेस्ट ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव मार्क्स ईच एंड टू टर्म एग्जाम्स सेवेंटी मार्क्स ईच इंटरनल असिसमेंट्स विल कैरी थर्टी मार्क्स दीज थर्टी मार्क्स विल बी इंक्लूडेड इन टर्म मार्क्स इंटरनल असिसमेंट्स विल इंक्लूड क्लास टेस्ट प्रोजेक्ट्स असाइनमेंट्स स्क्रैप बुक वर्क क्लास वर्क एंड होमवर्क एक्सेट्रा आई वुड रियली लाइक टू आस्क माई स्टूडेंट्स टू बी सिंसियर and regular since the beginning of the year and they should follow all the instructions i'm really hoping and looking forward for a wonderful year ahead thank you so much greetings dear parents my name is prachi mehta and i'm thrilled to be continuing this wonderful school community with a master's degree in commerce a bachelor's in education and a postgraduate degree in education management i bring with me a strong foundation and a passion for teaching Over the past 5 years I have had the privilege of nurturing and guiding young minds and I am thrilled to continue this journey with you all. This academic year I will be teaching English to grade 4 Tulip, Humanities to grade 4 Orchid as well as both the divisions of grade 5 and grade 6 Tulip. Together we will embark on a journey of exploration, learning and discovery. Our classes will not only be about acquiring knowledge but also about fostering curiosity critical thinking and a love for teaching education is a passport to the future for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today a journey together will be one of exploration discovery and deep understanding of the world we live in and the history that has shaped it in our humanities class we will cover a wide array of fascinating topics starting with the planet earth and its various functions we will learn about earth structure its movements and how these movements affects our daily lives we will become skilled at locating the continents and oceans on the map enhancing our geographical knowledge and spatial awareness one of the key concepts we will explore is a system of latitudes and longitudes by understanding these imaginary lines we can pinpoint any location on earth making us adept at reading maps and navigating the globe additionally we will study the temperate zone of the earth including the torrid temperate and the frigid zone Understanding these zones will help us appreciate the diversity of climates and ecosystems around the world. Our study of environment will focus on pollution and its impacts as well as the crucial steps we must take to conserve our planet. We will discuss various types of pollution such as air, water and soil pollution and explore practical ways to reduce our ecological footprint. This unit aims to foster a sense of responsibility and empower you to make positive changes for a sustainable future. Turning our attention to history, we will dive into the rich and complex narrative of India. We will begin with Gandhian era examining the life and teachings of Mahatma Gandhi and his role in India's struggle for independence. We will also learn about the coming of the British and the impact of colonial rule in India. The stories of our freedom fighters and their relentless struggle for free for freedom will inspire us and instill a deep sense of pride and respect for their sacrifices understanding the structure and functioning of the indian government will be another significant aspect of our curriculum we will explore the different branches of government the roles and responsibilities of each and how they work together to govern our country additionally we will learn about united states and its role in promoting peace and cooperation amongst the nations as responsible citizens it is essential for us to understand our rights and duties we will discuss the fundamental rights guaranteed by our constitution and the corresponding duties we must fulfill as citizens this knowledge will empower you to be informed active participants of our democracy throughout the year we will engage in various activities discussions and projects that will make learning interactive and enjoyable i encourage you all to participate actively ask questions and share your thoughts your curiosity and enthusiasm are the keys to successful and enriching learning experience as we embark on this new academic year let us embrace the opportunities it brings with open hearts and minds i am here to guide and support you every step of the way let us work together to make this year a memorable and impactful one thank you i look forward for incredible year of growth and learning with great five humanities 
Hello and a warm welcome for the ICT orientation session. We are here to explore how to the best prepare our children for the future in increasingly digital world. It's all about the giving them the tools and know how to thrive in a tech driven society. My name is Priya Gore. I have completed my graduation in commerce and a postgraduate diploma in computer application and have been teaching since last 14 years. This is my second year in 7 eyes. Integrating ICT in school empowers the students with the digital literacy skills and enabling them to navigate the digital world safely and ethically. They can learn online safety, information literacy and how to evaluate, analyze and use the information effectively, preparing them for the success in an information rich society. Students will be able to learn the following by the end of the year in the ICT. They will study the computer history, generations, modern tech like robotics, AI and how it impact in our daily life. They will explore the different software types as well. They will master advanced process, word processing techniques for the formatting and PowerPoint for creating a dynamic presentation which boosts in their turn their confidence. They will drive in the sketch programming, creating a interactive stories and games fostering a creative and critical thinking. They will learn internet basic and device connectivity and online communication manner. During the academic year, practical will be covered in lab, ICT lab. Details will be sent regularly through the email. Now internal assessment in ICT, class test 15 marks, class work, homework assignments 5 marks, lab work 20 marks, total internal assessment will be there for 40 marks, theory paper will be there for 60 marks. Two unit test and term test will be there. No internal assessment will be there for unit test. Creating an activity based on PowerPoint can be engaging the way to emphasize learning objectives and encourage the active participation. Important concepts are taught using the activity for better understanding. Grade 5 is having PowerPoint presentation. Presentations first, giving going over the most crucial aspects. Students should be instructed to jot down their questions. We will discuss the presentation group based on real life examples, quiz, debate, games, etc. Students will learn the practical as well as the theoretical concept. My email ID is priyagore.sis at the rate gmail.com. You can contact me for any matters related to your ward and subjects. I will be delighted to assist them all. Thank you. Good morning everyone, my name is Jayesh Burke and I have completed my bachelor's in physical education and I have total experience of 4 years. Sports play a crucial role in the overall development of students fostering not only physical fitness but also teamwork and discipline. Last year our students actively participated in various sports including volleyball, football, badminton, chess, carom, table tennis and a lawn tennis. I am proud to share some of our notable achievements from last year. Our volleyball team reached the semi-finals competing against 62 other teams. Our badminton team made it to the quarter-finals showcasing their skill and determination. Additionally, one of our table tennis players was selected for the national prize. This year, we have an exciting lineup of activities planned. We will introduce cricket, ball badminton, carom, table tennis and continue with the chase volleyball among other sports. However, we need the support and the encouragement of parents to help our students excel. For students in grade 3 to grade 5, we will focus on developing their abilities in various games and major sports, laying a strong foundation for their future participation and success. With the invaluable support of Principal Sir, we are also working on enhancing our sports infrastructure to provide the best facilities for our students. Let's look forward to another year of growth, achievement and sporting excellence. Thank you and stay tuned. Good morning, I am Anjul Sibbal and I have done my Art Teachers Diploma from Sir JJ School of Art and Craft Teachers course from Adarsh College. I have 20 years of teaching experience and this is my fifth year with the 7 Arts. Art and craft will be taught by me from grade 1 to grade 10. 
This year, apart from the basic techniques in drawing, the children will be learning different techniques like typography, pencil shading, etc. Children are also being trained for the elementary and the intermediate grade exams. These are the grade exams which are given in the grade 7. To encourage and motivate the children, we will be having different coloring and uh, drawing competition. Grade 5 children can use watercolors and grade 6 children can use both watercolors and poster colors. Children can use Navni publication drawing books so that we can conduct competitions for them. The topic and the dates will be announced when the school will start. If you have any queries, you can, you, you can mail me on my ID. Thank you. Hello everyone, myself Abhijit Sahni and I am the dance in charge for the academic year 2024 and 25. As a professional, I am an engineer and I have completed my engineering in EM Malaysia Telecommunications field. As far as dancing profession is concerned, I have started my dancing career professionally in 2009 under the guidance of my mentor Mr. Nitin Das. Along with him, I have choreographed reality shows like Nudge Pali and Boogie Woogie. In 2012, I have started my own dance academy by the name Abhis Dance Group. And this year successfully we have completed 12 year journey and we have taught more than 2000 plus students with having the branches in Bhandu, Bolonet, and NWA. As far as association with 7S International School is concerned, we have appointed in this school in December 2013. So from December 2013 till now, I will be in charge for dance activity. This year from my team, Mr. Shruti and Ms. Yuka will be there to take the regular classes. This year we are going to cover basic bit dancing, western dance, hip hop, Bollywood, contemporary and folk dance. As like last year, this year also we are trying to take out our students for inter-school dance competition as well as for other outdoor dance competitions. For any queries, any suggestion, you can contact me on my mail id or you can directly contact me on my contact number. Thank you. See you on the dance floor. Good morning dear parents and hello dear students. I hope you all have enjoyed the vacation. And now it's time to step back into the corridors of Seven Eyes International School with great zeal and happiness. My name is Nikhil Jayanta Sopadekar and I am the music teacher at Seven Eyes International School. I completed my graduation in engineering from Mumbai University in electronics and telecommunication. Additionally, I have completed my Sangeet Visharad in Tabla from Akhil Bharatiya Gandharva Mahavidyalaya. I am currently pursuing a Sangeet Alankar degree under the tutelage of Pandit Rupak Pawarji. I am also an Hindustani classical vocalist having learned for the last three years from the great maestro Pandit Arun Kshalkarji. So by qualification, I am an engineer and by profession, I am a musician. I have worked in a CBSC school for one year and I consider myself fortunate to now have the opportunity to work in an IGCSE school. Now, moving towards my subject that is music. Music is a universal language. It is a combination of form, harmony, melody and rhythm. Music is not just for entertainment, it's an immortal soul-based subject that delves into the depths of spiritualism. In Sanskrit we say it as Ranjaiti iti ragaha. Without the inclusion of music, no country or region can live in peaceful coexistence. All types of art are associated with music, which leads to divine ultimate peace. I will be teaching vocal music that is singing from nursery to grade 5 and tabla from grade 4 to grade 8. I will teach students with an abundance of knowledge, seriousness, fun and emotions. My aim is not just to create enthusiasm in them but to instill curiosity, positive influence and a relaxing trance-like experience in each student's heart. This will help them not only to learn about the music curriculum but also to enrich their character and personality in society. I will cover the following objectives in vocal music. Knowledge and experience of life swara that is notes and tal that is rhythm. The significance and existence of each rag, melody, 
that affects our body, mind and soul. The reasons why we should learn music. Understanding the difference between riyas that is practice and sadhana that is dedicated practice. In my instrument classes that is tabla, I will cover enhancing the power of rhythm. Rhythm means Brahma, which is already inbuilt in our soul. My short term goal is to practice one composition until it gets perfect and long term goal is to practice one composition until it attains a lustrous power. Developing a spiritual as well as sacred rhythm in the school environment. Focusing on major topics like Nag that is sound, Dhvani which means resonance and As, Ho and Mithas Mila which means sweetness. Classical music has been based on Guru Shishya Parampara that is preceptor disciple tradition for many eras. We will create such a divine environment in our school and I request your support in this journey. Thank you. For the academic year 2024-25, I will be teaching keyboards from grade 1 to 8 and vocals from grade 5 to 8. I am really excited for the new journey with the SIIS family. I have completed my bachelor's degree in commerce as well as in Hindustani classical vocal from Mumbai Vidya Peet Bhavan, Mumbai University. I have also done Madhyama Pratham in Classical Vocal and Praveshika Pratham in Harmonium from Akhil Bharatiya Mahavidyalaya Maharashtra. I have completed Geet Praveen in Light Music from Sugam Sangit Samiti, Mumbai. And right now I am pursuing Visharat degree in Vocal Classical from Akhil Bharatiya Mahavidyalaya, Mumbai. I am a professional singer and I have performed for more than 20,000 concerts and events in India and throughout the world. Music is a powerful medium of self-expression that allows individuals to convey their emotions, feelings and experiences in a creative and artistic way. It is a universal language that can be understood and appreciated by the people of all ages, cultures and backgrounds. Music is not just a source of entertainment. For some people it is motivation, inspiration, devotion and for some people like me it's a worship. Hindustani classical is one of the oldest form of music ever documented. It is an integral part of the culture of India. It helps students to stay connected to Indian culture. On the other hand, Western music is also important to compete with today's requirements and trends. So in our institution, being an international school, we will be teaching the combination of Hindustani classical and Western music. Music helps shaping young minds. So with my dedication and your cooperation, children will come out with flying colors. For any queries, you can mail me out on kushbubhojak.siis at the retrieval.com. In case you have any doubts, feel free to reach me on my mail ID. Thank you. Hello everyone. I am Miss Anisha Wazu. I am a senior trainer at Helen O'Grady International. At Helen O'Grady International, we don't just teach drama. We teach life. The program is aimed at developing 21st century life skills like communication skills, critical thinking, creativity, imagination, problem solving and social skills. We are more than thrilled to collaborate with an esteemed school like Seven Eyes. We will be adapting sessions for grade 5 to 8. Through this enriching program, we will show you tangible results over a period of time. We are excited to meet you all soon. Bye.